Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to powder coat using the Eastwood dual voltage powder coating gun. Now we're using a dual voltage gun because it's what you need for most powder coating jobs because the dual voltage is what allows you to get in the hard to reach corners as well as the large flat areas. So why do you want a powder coat? First off, one eight ounce bottle of powder covers the same area as two to three cans of paint. Plus it can be applied thicker than paint without running or sagging and it emits near zero VOCs and hazardous waste. Simply sweep up the overspray. Plus it's more durable and chip resistant than paint. How resistant? Let's look at a test we did. One panel is painted and one is powder coated. Let's see what happens when we hit them with a pick hammer. As you can see, the powder coating is much more durable than the paint. The paint chipped from the hammer blow while the powder simply stretched without cracking or chipping. And if it survived that hammer blow, it'll survive most applications. Powder is also great at resisting brake fluid, making it great for coating brake parts like master cylinders and covers. Besides the durability, powder coating is simple. Start by cleaning your part with pre-paint prep. Screw the powder bottle onto the gun, connect the airline with a PSI set between 5 and 10. Attach the ground clamp and spray the powder. Simply work around the part starting with the corners and edges, then work to the larger flat areas. Now this is where the dual voltage really helps because it allows you to get the best coverage in both tight areas and the large flat spots. And a great thing about powder, if you do make a mistake, maybe bump into the part, all you have to do is blow it off and start over. Nothing like when you get a run in your paint. Now when the part is coated, just place it in the oven to cure for about 20 minutes. But always check the manufacturer's suggestions for your powder. When the part is fully cured, remove it from the oven. And because powder coating is so durable, your parts are going to look great for a long time. Now a great way to change the appearance of powder is to simply change the base coat. Here's a valve cover that's coated with Eastwood Atomic Orange Powder. On this side, it's over the original chrome. On this side, it's over Eastwood Gloss White Powder. Now here's an air cleaner that's top coated with Eastwood Rally Blue Powder. Again, this side is over the original chrome and this side is over Gloss White. It's amazing the cool effects you can get by simply changing the base coat, which is a great use for Eastwood Extreme Chrome Powder. Not only is it our most reflective chrome powder to date, it also makes a great base if you want these effects when top coating with a color. So if the part wasn't originally chrome, you can put the chrome powder down first, then top coat to get the cool effect. Plus, powder coating isn't just for car and motorcycle parts. You can powder fishing lures, doorknobs, light fixtures, stainless cups, paintball guns, and even do decorations or crafts like making candle holders out of mason jars using an Eastwood translucent powder. If you ever want to try powder coating, there's never been a better time than right now. Just click the link to visit Eastwood.com and get your powder, powder gun, and all the supplies you need, and you'll be powder coating next weekend.